Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Doug Life here back with an update for the solo unlimited the solo retro glitch, which is still working as of Tuesday, as you're gonna see here in the video. Plus I've actually shortened it a little bit so you don't have to worry about uh, driving all the way from the docks to your bunker. All you're gonna have to do is in the very beginning before you start to glitch, request your MOC when you're beside your bunker, then put your MOC away. And then as soon as you go in and do the glitch, you're gonna notice that it's there, all right? As you're gonna see from here. Uh, like and subscribe, please click that little bell next to my name. I will be showing off the glitches that are actually still working. So yeah, as you're gonna see here, all you're gonna need is a, a friend in a different targeting mode, a retro Elegy RH8 in your MOC, and a car you want to duplicate in your Lester in your heist garage. And you're gonna need a Lester setup or a Lester heist. So that's just gonna see here. I'm just gonna drive over to the back of the truck after I've transferred my retro out of it. I'm gonna get myself in position so that when I get out of the car, I'm in the blue circle, which be right beside the door. Then you're gonna close your interaction menu, and if you get the animation like you just seen there of me reaching for the door, that means you're good. Then you're just gonna have to find somebody who's in a different targeting mode. Um, right now, I'm in free aim, so I'm looking for somebody in assisted aim, as you're gonna see here. Uh, one thing, if you do not get the details from somebody, if you're trying to use one person and you know they're in assisted aim, if you get don't get the details, if it only lets you click the join party once, the best thing to do is find somebody else that's in another session, get the details from them, and then when the details do come up, just cancel them, and then you can get the details from the person that you're uh, trying to use. It's a little bit easier that way. So as you see here, I'm on a long black screen. I got the first alert which I'm gonna accept. The second alert, which is the targeting mode, I'm gonna decline. Um, you wanna make sure you're away from the wall there. So you make sure you're not touching it. You're gonna call up your Lester job. And then once you spawn back in your apartment, you're gonna be on the whiteboard. All you're gonna do is hit B. Yeah, me, I, me for my own self, I go in the first person mode because I find it easier to make it through my apartment. So. Then I go. To, then you're gonna see here. You gotta click B to quit the whiteboard. Turn around. So you're just gonna see here. I'm going in the first person view. It's so much easier to get out. As soon as you get into your garage, as you're gonna see here, I just press the Y button to get into the car automatically. I don't press any other buttons. Um, as you're gonna see, and then as soon as you get outside, you're gonna want to bring up your interaction menu. And request mobile operation center if it's not highlighted and it's actually says it's not empty the easiest thing for you to do then is to stick, hop out of the car until it actually turns white then you can hop back in the car and request your mobile operation center As you're gonna see here it's not gonna take me to the docks it's actually gonna take me back by my bunker <clears throat> and there we go So I'm just going to request my mobile operations center now. As you see here, I'm showing you guys on the map. I am in a friend session. I did not spawn all the way down at the docks like usual. Now my mobile operations center is nearby. So I'm just going to go and drive this into it. And then I'm going to call my mechanic. Get him to bring me another elegy. I'm going to replace. I'm going to put my mobile operations center away. And I'm going to grab the elegy, take it into my bunker, and do the steps all again. But yeah, this glitch is still working. Big shout out to Bruntango. His glitch is still working. I actually just tried that one as well this morning. Um, you just got to make sure that you just tap the A and the RT button while you're holding in the start menu. Right? You just got to, as soon as you hold, you're holding in the start menu for Bruntango's one. As soon as you tap RT and A, you just let go. It still works. I did it this morning as well. Big shout out to Bruntango. Uh, big shout out to Freight Train What the Fudge, Dead Game and Live, Zazar909. 
the Wavy Gamer HD, It's Trance, Ultrax Gamers, Toe Venom, I Do Dab, uh, Hispanic Titanic, all kinds of us YouTubers out there. Please like and subscribe. There's a petition going around um, that Dead Gaming Live has put out. Um, all you subscribers and YouTubers, uh, maybe you, know, you should all sign it. Can't let these big companies you know, decide to walk all over everybody. See, you know, as they have no copyright laws, technically, as Dead Gaming Live said, they can't really be doing it. What they're doing is technically illegal. But, you know, for some wheels? I'm we should on fight spot. back, I'll you know, you show them who the I'm little guys, what the little guys can actually do. Anyways, uh, so these glitches are still working as of Tuesday, uh, which is kind of sh shocking, seeing as the update came out. And the new, really, the new Insurgent custom pickup is now released. So yeah, uh, like and subscribe to the video. Go check out those other YouTubers I talked about. Also check out my channel and like and subscribe my videos. I'm just a new and new, new upcoming YouTuber. So yeah, please like my videos. Please subscribe. If there's anything you guys would like to see me do in my comment section, just leave that down below. And yeah, uh, happy, happy great Tuesday, people. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.